This is a very brief introduction to ANOVA, which is an abbreviation for Analysis of Variance. It's one of the most versatile statistical tests that can be used, but it's also really complicated. We're not going to even begin to delve into the complications of what uh, uh, how ANOVA actually functions, but we're going to just look at a little about what, uh, what it can do. Let's start off by comparing a t-test to an ANOVA. So a t-test looks for a difference between two groups that differ in one specific factor. So for example, does organizational satisfaction differ by gender? So we've got two groups, we've got males and females, and we want to find out if organizational satisfaction is different between the two groups. And in a sense, we can kind of uh, uh, define this as the dependent variable being organizational satisfaction. So that's ratio data. It can take on any uh, value in between whatever on whatever the scale is. And the independent variable, that's the factor that interests us. And the factor here is gender. So factor is a really important word in uh, ANOVA. It's something that uh, that acts as an independent variable and this and uh, um, uh, describes categories that we're interested in. So here, the uh, independent variable uh, gender can take on two values, male or female. So th um, this here is so this would be a nominal data. So that's a, a t-test. There's we've got two groups and one specific factor. That's how all of our t-tests t have been. Now, in contrast to a t-test that has just two groups and one specific factor, ANOVA can look at differences between two or more groups and that differ in one or more specific factors. For example, in the company bean study, does organizational satisfaction fact, faction differ by gender, seniority, and position. So the, the dependent variable is organizational satisfaction. We want to understand the factors that influence us. And so the, inter, uh, the independent variables, the various factors, all of which are nominal, are gender, can be male or female, seniority. We could divide that up in a lot of different nominal categories. We could divide it up into two, such as less than five years, more than five years. Or we could have, a, 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 or the, and the factor position is also a, a factor here, and we could divide that up into any number also, but we could divide it up into, say, uh, uh, three categories, three uh, uh, levels, hourly, salaried, and upper management. And so the ANOVA test can take data, when we have data points for the dependent variable and all the inter, uh, uh, independent variables and find out how each factor influences organizational satisfaction at the same time and to see what the, the relevant factors are. Now, the ANOVA can not also handle not just a bunch of factors at one time, it also tests for interactions between factors. For example, do gender differences in organizational satisfaction differ with seniority? Are more are the gender differences of top management different than the gender differences um, uh, among hourly employees? That's called an interaction, and ANOVA is very good for measuring that. So you can see that with an ANOVA, we can handle many more variables at a time to see what is influencing our dependent variable. 